The European Union now leads the world in artificial intelligence regulation. This week, EU lawmakers passed a sweeping law intended to ensure responsible use and development of AI. Here in the U.S., members of Congress also want to get something done. When it comes to tech issues like banning TikTok, it can take years to make progress. National correspondent Atra El Nishar reports on the urgency to take on AI. The EU trying to get ahead of AI. The future is AI fueled and we must continue to shape it. The AI Act, the European Union's first set of binding regulations on artificial intelligence, will be enacted later this year. It's an effort five years in the making to manage dangers of the rapidly evolving technology. A ban on social scoring, discriminatory algorithms and manipulative techniques. And this ensures AI serves humanity and not the other way around. At the same time, the EU hopes the law fosters innovation, nearly identical goals shared by leaders in the U.S. I'm determined to do everything in my power to promote and demand responsible innovation. The president's executive actions include requirements for developers to conduct safety tests and share results with the government and expanded grants for AI research. Here on Capitol Hill, members of both parties hope to see similar policy codified into law, but the legislative wheels are turning very slowly. Meanwhile, it seems just about every week we're learning about a new way that AI can be misused or weaponized, especially in an election year. Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans in their quest to elect Donald Trump again. This AI-generated robocall depicting President Biden telling voters in New Hampshire to skip the state's primary. And this AI-generated photo of former President Trump circulating online, posted by Newsmax host and Trump supporter Mark Kay. Meanwhile, Google apologizing for photos generated by its Gemini feature portraying black Nazis, Native American Vikings, racially diverse founding fathers. And Adobe cautioning users its generative AI features are currently in beta. And results may occasionally be misleading, incorrect, or biased. The exact thing tech experts and officials say, for the sake of the public, should not go unchecked. On Capitol Hill, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.